Hey there, this is Dr. Gary Pepper again um, here at metabolism.com, and this is the first of a series of vlogs or video podcasts that I'd like to be doing on the use of our new AI engine at metabolism.com to search for medical information. If you've ever searched for medical information online, you know it can be a little tricky because there are a lot of technicalities involved with medical lingo and interpreting what the results are as well as figuring out what the right question is. So by doing these uh, little mini tutorials, I hope to be able to demonstrate for you what I think is the best techniques to use, and I hope I can also answer some of the questions you might have on metabolic health issues. So um, I'm going to also publish this as a audio podcast because, however, for those of you who are curious, you can always head over to metabolism.com and see for yourself. I'll also be uh, trying to do a live streams on YouTube, and I'll keep uh, keep everyone posted on when those will be available. So um, as you can see behind me, if you're watching the video, um, we have the home screen of um, metabolism.com. And if you jump here to the AI companion link, then you'll be going to the page. Uh, we call it the metabolic mentor. I'm going to log in here. Okay, so we are now logged in on the Metabolic Mentor, and if you scroll down, you can now ask your questions. Uh, today's tutorial will be on Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and I'm hoping that uh, you'll get something out of it. I, I would like to hear your comments if you have something uh, that you'd like me to be searching for on my website, info at metabolism.com, to let us know what topics you might like to hear about in the future or any suggestions you might have for improving this service. Um, while you're at it, you could uh, subscribe or put a like on our YouTube channel. It would really help us a lot. So uh, hang in there for a second, and now we're going to transition to the latest live stream that I did earlier today on the subject, again, of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This is the AI companion page at metabolism.com. We call it the Metabolic Mentor, and it's powered by OpenAI. And um, once you register uh, to the website, you're entitled to use the same uh, function for free. So let's start off with a simple question. Uh, um, what is Hashimoto's thyroiditis? Okay, let me see if I can make that a little bigger off the screen. No, oh, that's no good. There we go. What is Hashimoto's thyroiditis? So let's see what um, the AI agent can tell us about that. Now we can zoom in a little bit. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease, which means the body is reacting uh, against itself, which attacks the thyroid gland and is leading... Uh, cause of hypothyroidism from um, most people. And it's like an inflammation, uh, but it's not a painful infla inflammation. It's not like a, a sore knee. You don't have any real pain from it, but it can cause your thyroid to become underactive, which means it doesn't make enough thyroid hormone. And that's what causes the symptoms. So, so let's ask what are the symptoms? What are the symptoms of Hashimoto's? See what we get for that answer. Mentor is thinking. Fatigue, weight gain, sensitivity to cold, dry skin and hair, hair loss, muscle weakness, joint pain, constipation, depression, memory problems, menstrual irregularities, which, which generally means either heavy and infrequent menses is most common, and enlargement of the thyroid gland, which is called a goiter. Now, you may have only one of these symptoms, or you may have multiple symptoms, um, but it isn't related necessarily to the autoimmune process. It's related to the fact that your body is not making enough thyroid hormone. And, and for whatever reason, whether it's Hashimoto's or because you've had your thyroid removed, uh, 
um, you're going to experience the same sort of symptoms. Now, in my experience, one of the most common symptoms is this sensitivity to cold, which means that when other people are feeling comfortable in a room, you're the one who's saying, gee, isn't it cold in here? Though living in Florida, where people ramp up the air conditioning, uh, it's going to be a hard thing to determine if that's a thyroid condition or not. Fatigue, uh, well, you know, the thyroid hormone that it that's the chemical that the thyroid puts into your blood, controls something called the metabolic rate. And that's the rate at which your body uh, burns calories. And uh, you could use the uh, example of a um, heating unit in your house. When you uh, turn up the heating unit, you feel hotter, but you're also using more fuel. And if you're using up your fuel... So there are many other symptoms all related to uh, a decrease in your metabolic rate, which is the rate at which your body's functioning. So let's say uh, what treatment is available, available for hypothyroidism. Um, unfortunately, in my experience, there aren't many uh, nutrients that will make much of a difference. But uh, fortunately, we do have uh, medications that are not expensive and are very uh, effective. So the standard treatment for hypothyroidism is, hypo, uh, is thyroid hormone uh, replacement, typically synthetic thyroid hormone called levothyroxine. And, and um, there are some brands of uh, levothyroxine. Uh, Synthroid is one of them, which are uh, considerably more expensive and not necessarily any better. Now, um, we're going to be ending our session right now, but if you uh, tune in to Metabolism123 uh, or visit the website metabolism.com, you can get uh, uh, this kind of information, and we do have our video uh, blogs available as well as the audio blogs, and you can find uh, these very easily at the website. So thanks for viewing, and I hope to see you soon. That's pretty much uh, the story for today, and I hope you got something out of it. I'd really like to hear any comments or questions so that we can answer things that I might have omitted or fill in some of the gaps. <laughs>